Good morning! I wanted to sit next to some primroses that I planted to give all of you some spring. Um, I've got to close the house so it's, the frost doesn't get it. I got my Sephora order. This is I keep this bag. I didn't get it in the store. I had to send for it online. And it is the Hourglass Ambient Powder. But let me first quickly show you what else I got, you know, as all my points and stuff with it, because we have to save that to the end. It's just like the news. They put all the good stuff at the end. I got a fragrance bag. You had a choice of four bags, and of course I can't remember which one I got. Anyway, um, I got Living Grace. So I got more samples. I've started um, sampling. I do it at night when my cat isn't with me, and then I um, write it all down. So we'll go through it. Oh, Burberry Brit. I've heard Burberry from Tammy, and so I'm really curious what it's going to be like. I got Daisy, which I've had before, and I really like it. So I guess <clears throat> I'm turning out to be kind of a floral girl. Uh, Coach Love, which has just come out, so very excited to find out what that's going to be like. And Pure DKNY. And I can't remember if I've tried it. I've never been aware of fragrances like I am all of a sudden, and I'm training my taste to be a little more sophisticated and I'm finding out I really like some vanillas and I like tobacco. So that was the fragrance part. Then I got for my 500 points the Josie Moran Argan Essentials. Uh, I did open it so I'll open it like pretend <laughs> that it's brand new to you guys. I haven't used anything of course but it came wrapped in a tissue wrapped in a napkin if you've ever seen Saturday Night Live and Chris Catan. Um, the Josie Marin Bare Naked Wipes. I think there's eight wipes in here, so I'll put that in my travel bag. The Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil, and I haven't tried it. I have it from one of my test tubes. I have, actually, I have two of them, but I haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> Argan Cleansing Oil, which I've never used a cleansing oil, but that would be great for the eyes. And what I was most excited about was the full-size Argon Lip Treatment. And it's funny, the little screws are on the inside. It has a little slight sweet fragrance, maybe kind of cherry-like, but nothing overpowering. So put that in my bag. Now let's get to the hourglass. I got the brush because I'm also becoming very brush aware, and I've probably my most expensive brush is my Mac, uh, whatever it is, one one something two, 182 requires glasses. Uh, I have other Mac uh, brushes, and I do like the real techniques. But someday I'm gonna either get a Chanel or uh, I got an hourglass, <laughs> or you know some fancy kind of thing. And I learned when I was trying to open it because I did some still shots. Um, open it from the bottom, and you pull out the little holder insert and your brush will slide out and inside also let me set it down is a little case for it uh, sometimes I have trouble oh and it's got a smooth inside so that's nice that'll keep the brushes the bristles <laughs> flat and it's got a little elastic I don't know what that's for anyway it I haven't felt it yet. Oh, it's very smooth. And Josh Collier gave the best review on this stuff. I'm just showing because I got it and I'm cutting edge. But he said it's a, a synthetic, and I can kind of feel that. It's a synthetic brush. And he says you don't uh, grind this powder in, or um, you don't puff <laughs> the powder in. You lay it on. So after I, I bought this before I saw his video, which I just watched last night. So, but it made me really happy that I got it because now I have the perfect blush for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And I got it in dim. Am I dim-witted? <laughs> no, uh, I'd read... Actually, there was a blog that sold me on it. It was a redhead lady, and she showed one half of her face without it and one half with it. And So I thought I'd do on camera my camera. The Hourglass Dim Light. Um, I was surprised it's plastic. And the reason I was surprised it was plastic... Maybe, oh, I guess this is too. I always thought this one was metal with my eyeshadow. And this was the Gypsy, and I've got it on, and that's why I wear it. But I guess it's plastic too, so I shouldn't have been too surprised. It keeps it lighter, but metal would have been fun, but it probably would have cost a hundred and some dollars. But here's the dim. Now hold it up to me just as, you know, skin tone. Um, it's skin tone. I haven't swatched it yet. 
Here, let's swatch it. I have on Miss Mole Gosh fingernail polish, and um, don't double up. Don't make your um, sesh beat real thick, or it does this business. Okay, no, we're doing the ambient. So there's that, and of course you can't see that. So what I thought I would do today is here's my skin. I'll come as close as I can lean um, without it, and I'm going to do it on one side. And I was really curious because I have the Guerlain meteorites, and now. Uh, Josh said to just sweep it across, and he works for Hourglass, so... Oh, that's right, I'm not supposed to go here with the big pores. Well, I see it giving a little bit of color, skin color, and he says you just lay it across. Oh, I can see the difference. It's pinker on me. And he says, he goes... He starts on the outside, which I should have paid attention to and done. My nose would quit running. So we're in sunlight, well, we're in cloudy sunlight, which is actually the best light to photograph in, but um, anyway, the sun's right over there, so it's kind of in my face. Uh, I would say my pores look smaller, because they're real big right here. So here's the difference. And he says, just go over it lightly. Don't go 10 tons of it, and don't buff it in. So I will set that. I'm going to put my little brush in its little case, because I'm outside. See, there it fits right like that. Well, it kind of sticks up, so I don't want to take the last front. All right, now, on this side, I'm going to do the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls Tint Beige 02. He didn't like them. He said they were um, glittery. <laughs> and he didn't like the smell. I'm sorry. I love smell. They're like violets. Maybe I'm just older than you, Josh. Anyway, this is what they look like. And I have used various brushes, and I've wound up using my... Matt Kabuki, and I run it around real good, tap it all off, and I buff it in. I don't know what you're supposed to do, but let's do this side. And buffing in kind of blends in my, what do you call it, blush. So here's this side. Um, well, there's more color to this. This is lighter. Okay, now I'm going to do the... Ma I should have got my magnifying glass. I could run downstairs. Let me get my magnifying glass. Uh, I had to go to a different angle. Here's the forehead. I can't tell if this is getting too much reflection. The forehead, this side is the ambient light. This side is the gear lane meteorites. Here's the meteorites. Here's the amber light. Here's the chin of the amber light. Ambient. Amber. And there's the Guerlain. And here's the eyeball. <laughs> you make up your own opinion. But I kind of think this side is hidden. It gives it a little more color. And this is the dim light. And I think this is in the middle of the road. And also middle of the road with the pearlescent. So I'm glad of that because at 62 I don't need a lot of glitter. <laughs> I want more colors though. Boy, are we friends or what for me to show you? And the hair stuck to the lip gloss. <laughs> so, this is warmer. This is cooler. They both make my pores look better. You know what? I think this makes my pores look better. Right in here, if you look in here. And you look in here. Oh, it's all so subtle. But, you know, us make us up junkies. We want to have fun. And we want every advantage possible. So... Let me tell you what's on the rest of my face. I'll just grab things. I have the Miss Adoro number 46 as, as eyelashes. Uh, things are flying. It's hard to do things outside, but I love taking you out. I have on, oh, well, let's get a little more organized, on my eyes. Also, I have my refound, because it was hiding in my naked palette. Uh, box. Uh, the Larger in Life, NARS, see I'm always backwards, uh, Madison Avenue. I use that on my inner rims, waterline and tight line. <laughs> uh, since I was using hourglass, I wanted to use another hourglass that I have. I only have the mineral veil in this, and this is the Gypsy. I just showed you eyeshadow. Love it! I put the light color on the lid and on the brow bone part, and the dark color, which is kind of a, kind of a plummy brown maybe a little taupe mixed up in the crease and outer edge. And then I took my doo-wop, 
activator or whatever. And I did a uh, uh, because I was copying Makeup MLC, she Michelle uh, uses uh, eyeshadows a lot for liner. So I copied her and used this as a liner. Not sure what I thought of it, because that's why I went around with a little dark. Because of the eyelashes, it doesn't hide them real good. On my cheeks, I used um, NARS Outlaw, my new one I just got. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I've been using the Cactus Flower a little more, but just because I was excited about how bright it was. It's come on spring. I contoured with uh, the Notorious and there might be some eyeshadows you guys can copy. Um, there's a little shimmer to it. Uh, for highlight, I'm going backwards because I did the highlight first. I used Kevin and Kwan's Celestial Candlelight. No, nothing Celestial. No, Celestial Powder. The Candlelight and I just dropped the brush. I don't I haven't used their brush. But I use it just right there, and I kind of went down the nose a little bit. Um, on the lips, yes, <laughs> brain. Okay, on the lips, I use NARS New Lover. Looks like this. Um, I wanted a springy video, even though you know it's not spring yet. It's February; it still could snow. And I used Chanel's Extract de Gloss in Imagineer. And it looks like this. And on Natalie Flower Bomb 31, it shows up as a color by itself. And that's why I had to put on the new lover underneath so that it would actually show. And that's my face. I've already shown it to you with a magnifying glass. I dare anybody else to use magnifying glass. Especially at 62. So I'm hoping for this hourglass dim light. Well, it's just, yeah, dim, dim light to make an old lady look Young again. <laughs> um, it was very fun. Of course, I would love two more powders, but at forty-eight dollars or whatever it is, a shot um, for such subtle. I don't know. I would like more. <laughs> it's always want. It's never need. So until next time, uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate all you new subscribers. My gosh, I'm just honored you're here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.